Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. I forgot to film an intro to this, so this is my little makeshift intro for you guys. I got some good news today, so I'm going to celebrate. John is still sleeping, so I'm headed out solo dolo today. I'm headed to Ybor City in Tampa, if you're familiar with the area. I'm gonna show you guys around and take you guys with me. I'm definitely gonna get some Cuban coffee, get some lunch or some food while I'm out today. I know I've had a little hiatus here from YouTube. I took like a week or two weeks even off, just because I was like going through some stuff and I was like kind of depressed and down. I had like a lot of anxiety about the situation, but I am good. Everything worked out. So we are going to celebrate today and we're going to have a good day. So welcome back to my channel. I really did miss you guys. Thank you to everyone who reached out to me to check on me over the past two weeks. I am good. I'm ready to get back into this vlogging game. So let's get today started and I'll see you guys when we get to Ebor. So this is like the center of Ebor where like, I don't even know, it's basically just the center and they used to have a Hamburger Mary's upstairs before it closed. It was such a fun bar, I used to love going there, but sadly it is now closed. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. We now return to your regular programming. I have not been in this area of Ebor in so long, so I don't even know what they have here anymore. Across the street right there is the Tampa Bay Brewing Company. It's supposed to be haunted. I don't know if you guys know anything about that. Let me know down in the comments. Also, if any of y'all are ever in Ebor, I definitely recommend coming to the Improv Comedy Club. They have a lot of different shows. You guys can see like 8 p.m., 10.30, 10 p.m. You do have to be 21 though, except for what day of the week? Friday nights, you can be 18 and up. What is today? Today's Wednesday, I'm gonna miss it. I don't know if y'all can tell up there, they have like pride flags, transgender right flags, all that kind of stuff up there. This is one of the most LGBT friendly areas, I think in all of Florida. Pretty much for the most part, all of these places have like LGBT friendly in their windows and there's a lot of gay bars here. If that's not something you're into, I mean, I'm not gonna force that on you, but if you're looking for somewhere to go like that's LGBT friendly, or if you just wanna hang out in a nice and fun area, I definitely recommend Ebor. The drivers might be a little bit crazy, and I'm about to get hit by this car. But there's definitely a lot of cool stuff to see here. There's a lot to do. This place has a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, shopping, tequila bars, anything you really are looking for, they have down here in Ebor. All right, y'all, I just got to Tabanero Cigars. They also have a coffee shop in here. Literally, it is the best cup of coffee I've ever had. So if y'all are ever in Ebor, make sure to come check it out. Also, if any of you are into cigars, they have a whole hand-rolled cigar shop here. They have a bunch of different kinds. I don't really know much about cigars, but if you're someone who's into that, I definitely would recommend checking this place out. All right, so I just got my cup of coffee. It is so good. It's Cuban coffee, so if y'all are into Cuban coffee, I'm telling you, this is one of the best cups of coffee I've ever had. It's right here on the corner in Ebor. You can't miss it. It's literally right across the street from what I was just showing you, like that main area right there right across the street best cup of coffee ever and if y'all have been following me on here for a while now you know i've been trying to cut back on coffee i really don't drink coffee anymore but seriously i drove out of my way to get this today would you look who it is oh my god what you doing i just woke up it's one o'clock So I just secured my Instagram picture. If you guys are watching this and you haven't seen the picture already, make sure to go give it a like. Leave me a comment telling me you watched the video so I know you saw it. And if you aren't following me on Instagram already, make sure to go check me out over on there. So the cigar and coffee shop I'm at just reposted my Instagram story. 
to their Instagram. I was like, oh, hey guys. They were like, thank you so much. I was like, oh, you're welcome. Cute, right? I knew it was only gonna be a matter of time before this happened. Womp, womp, womp. I think it's on here too. This is why I don't wear nice things. This is why I shop at Target and Marshalls. It says the most famous bar on the planet, period. Do you think we should go? I think we should check it out. It might be closed. So I just came in this little vintage store. I'm gonna look around for some different clothing. They have a lot of different stuff in here. Shoes, clothes, accessories, you name it, they have it in here. And then, look what I told you guys. They even have a skeleton. I'm not even sure what kind of store this is, but it's kind of cute. They have like vintage style clothing, crazy kind of clothing, hats. Like these are all shorts over here. Like look at these shorts. Just like crazy different kind of stuff. Belt buckles. Those are all flasks down there. An Egypt hat. I don't, are those like pilot goggles? I really think those are like the old school pilot goggles. I love this bag, so cute. I don't really need any more shirts, but these shirts are super cute and they're only $5 today. They're having a $5 sale, so I might have to pick one up. I might go back to that store, I might not, I'm not really sure. They're having a $5 sale. I don't know if they're going out of business or what's going on, but everything in the store is $5, so I might head back there in a little bit and see what I can find. Um, I saw a couple shirts that were kind of cute, but nothing really that I was like, oh, I need this, you know? So, kind of just walk around and see what else I can find. If I don't see anything else, I might go back. But like I said, I don't know. I'm getting kind of hungry though. I might go grab some lunch pretty soon. There's a lot of different places here. I've ate at a lot of them though, so I'm not sure where I'm gonna go yet. And a lot of the places here are a little more expensive than what I want to spend on lunch. They have a lot of like upscale dining, like steakhouses and stuff, so I'll see what I can get myself into. If not, I'll get lunch somewhere else. It's not really a big deal. This right here used to be Hamburger Mary's before it closed, rest in peace. This was such a fun place for drinks and food. They had like drag shows and different stuff. And the iconic heels. I miss it so much. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this used to be the movie theater right here. It is looking like it's closed though. Which makes me really sad because this is such a nice area. A movie theater would be so nice here. It does say it's under construction though, so maybe they're bringing it back. So while I was upstairs on those bridges up there, I noticed that they had like a visitor center slash like little museum with the history of Ebor. And I was like, you know what, I should check that out because even though I live here, I still am kind of new to the area. So I was like, oh, you know what, I'll go check it out and like see what it's all about. It's never a bad thing to learn about a place or learn the history of a place. So I'm gonna go in there and check it out and see what it's all about. Oh, they have a list of all the historical sites in Ebor. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna take a picture of this. I did not know they had all this. But this is the car I want so bad now living here in Florida. A topless Jeep I think would be so fun and so cool to drive around. But I don't think John is gonna go with that. But you never know. Should I get a tattoo while I'm here today? Can you guys guess how many tattoos I have? Should I tell you? 
All right, so if you guys think you know how many tattoos I have, comment down below. And if you guess it right, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. All right, y'all, this is called Bradley's on 7th. It is a bar here in Ybor. It is so much fun. It is a gay bar, just so you know. I had a Tampa layover here last week, and my whole crew and I came here at like 1.30 in the morning because they're open till three. Most of the bars here are open till three, just so you guys know. And then as soon as we left Bradley's, we went right next door to this pizza place. So, so good, we had such a good time. Definitely, if you guys are coming down here to check out the bar scene, I recommend Southern Nights, Bradley's on 7th, Honey Pot, all of those are really good bars. I know I've only been here for like two hours, but you can only park on the street in for two hours before you get a pretty hefty ticket in. I don't know about you guys, I'm not trying to get a parking ticket today because when I lived in Pittsburgh, I used to be the absolute queen of parking tickets. I probably got like close to 100 parking tickets when I lived in Pittsburgh. I would get them like literally every single day. So. I hope you guys enjoyed coming out to Ebor with me. I am gonna make a few more stops on my way home. Maybe I'll even take you guys through the rest of my day. We'll see how that goes. But I hope you guys had fun in Ebor. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you guys live around here, let me know. Maybe we can meet up here one day. I'm down to hang out whenever. If you guys live in Tampa or if you see I'm on a layover, you guys just DM me on Instagram or Twitter or my Facebook page. Anything you guys can reach out to me. And if you're around, maybe we can meet up one day. So. I'm gonna go grab my car before I get a ticket and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Y'all, I don't know if you can see it, but down there are the trolleys that drive around Ebor and Tampa. They are so cute. I love them. I was gonna tell you guys to guess where I am, but I definitely just recorded the entrance so you know where I am. I was on my way home and I decided to stop at Olive Garden. I know, really weird, right? But I've been craving it for a few days now and I'm like, you know what? I'm celebrating myself today. I'm having a good day. I'm doing everything I wanna do today. I'm like, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna get soup and salad at Olive Garden. If you guys don't know, I worked at Olive Garden through high school and college, so kind of familiar with it, like a little bit, you know? Just kidding. And when I worked there, I hated when people ordered soup and salad because it didn't cost very much so they didn't tip very much and it was busy you had to keep refilling it over and over but you know what I'm gonna be that person I'm gonna go in there and order it and yeah John's probably gonna be like it was seriously went to Olive Garden today like what's wrong with you he hates Olive Garden and I know a lot of people don't like it either a lot of people call it like the Italian version of a Denny's but you know what no shade no hate here on my channel guess I should put my windows up before I go in Let's do this. Okay, so the audio in this clip was really bad because it was super windy, so you could barely hear what I was talking about, but I just wanted to fill you guys in anyway. I was talking about I was just going to pick up John real quick, and I was waiting for him to come outside, and we were going to head over to our church, and that I didn't want to give you guys the exact location of our church because there are crazy people out there, like stalkers and stuff, so I do like to keep a little bit of privacy in my life, and I was also talking about how if you want to become a flight attendant, you have to become comfortable with doing stuff by yourself, and because I went out by myself today, and I went to lunch by myself, and to Uber by myself I do attribute that to because I do have to do a lot of stuff on my own as a flight attendant all right so we're just leaving church have this one with me he's crabby today I am not he's tired he didn't come with me today whatever the shade uh, I didn't vlog anything there I didn't even vlog us like walking up to it it's a very small and very conservative church so wanted to not draw any extra attention to myself there I really like that church it's really pretty and they're very nice but I definitely did not want to be walking around with my little camera so we are leaving now um, are we gonna go see your mom mm -hmm. John's mom actually works right down the street from here, so that's another reason I'm not gonna show you guys exactly where we're at because, like I said earlier, I do like to keep a little bit of privacy in my life, but we're gonna go run over and see her. I guess I'm gonna take you guys along the rest of my day now. I've taken you this far. I might as well finish out the day with you guys, and I know I haven't vlogged for a while, so I hope you guys missed me, and I hope I'm, I'm hoping this video is gonna be a little bit longer than like five minutes because I don't really know how much I filmed today, but regardless, it's still gonna go up. I miss you guys. I miss posting. I miss vlogging and we're back. That's all, folks.